fights, there is dignity in labor, you know. Success, no, they look fast, you know. Good day, ladies. You're welcome to another edition of this powerful program we have created to empower you all to become even better in the future. In our midst today, we have a very strong and resilient woman who fought against all odds to actualize her dreams, a beneficiary of the Empowering Skillful Women Initiative, as we all know. Please jam your hands together as I welcome Miss Gift Emeka. We always ask ourselves this question. Till when will we continue to strive? I want you all to know that every day we choose not to quit, we have achieved 99.9%. The woman I was yesterday has introduced me to the woman I am today, which makes me so excited about meeting the women you all will become tomorrow. <laughs> I'm fine, sir. Welcome. How can you tell me a woman would be the one to bat my head? I don't understand. Bro, she's good. You didn't tell me there's a woman that owns this shop. How can a woman bat my hair? Guy, let's leave this place. No, 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 no. please, sir. Please, I, I promise you, I'll, I'll cut your hair, Will. Like I said, she's very good. Perhaps there is no other salon nearby. Sir, you can ask him. I did this one yesterday. I cut his hair yesterday. Don't you like it? I hope you don't want to trim with my hair. Ah, no, now. How can? If she's not good, why would I be patronizing her? Just chill. Let her give you a wonderful coat. Okay. Let me just give you a try. Yes. If anything happens to my hair, Amos, if anything happens to my hair. And if the hair is good, free bottles. <laughs> okay. Boss, don't worry. You don't have any problem at all. I'm going to do it all for you. Can't you see your friend's hair coat? I'm just giving you a try, Anna. If I do it, or you're going to pay twice the amount. Oh, okay. you're supposed to reduce the money. Reduce what? Sir. I promise you triple. Oh, thank that's you. That's what I actually give to you. Thank you, sir. Thank right. you. Baby. Yes, love. Um, I'll be needing a new generator. My old one is beginning to malfunction. You know I can afford that right now. Um, yes, but that's why I'm saying it now so we can plan and see for it. Babe, you know I'm still trying to get back on my feet after everything I've been through. My salary right now is too small for me to save up for a gen. Plus I've advised you countless time to get a job and stop wasting your time at that babbing salon. You 
you think I'm wasting my time there? I work so hard and I earn some money too. Babe, I love you very much. Okay? I can see how hard working you are and dedicated. But can't you see that the earlier you stop this babbing salon thing and get serious with life, the better for both of us? Graduate for God's sake. Why won't you just get a job like every other woman out there? Take a look at your friend Fiona. She makes 80,000 naira from her job as a secretary. I've told you countless times to stop comparing me to Fiona. She has a life to live and I have mine. And who says I'm, I'm not going to make some money later? I'm still growing, remember? Yeah, I know. With your 300 naira you earn every Per haircut. Babe, come on. Be serious. You would have just said no and left it that way. Rather than more. Than me. Where are you going to? Back to my shop. Just oh, come changed on. my mind. Babe, come on. Sorry now. I was just trying to tell you the truth. This thing is going to kill me. Long face. Nothing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I know that one of those your customers have gotten on your nerves. You see? You see why I told you that that job does not suit you? You need to get a good job. And Gift, you know that I can help you get a good job. You know that. Please, Fiona, I beg you. Don't add to my grievances, please. What's with all of you? What's wrong? Why do you people always find fault in anything I do? Okay, I'm a baba, fine. What's with it? What's wrong with it? What's wrong with that? Please, maybe we cannot support me. Just, just, just let me be. You really had a bad day. Yes. I had a bad day, all thanks to Marcus who got me upset and to you for making it worse. If you guys won't support me, why make me feel bad? Why? Babes, we care about you and what you do. That's why we're saying all these things. Okay, and caring about me is me throwing away my skill into the dustbin and picking up an office job, really? In this 21st century, How don't you guys think? I'm the same 21st century. You decided to be a baba. A baba! Not even a hairdresser or a makeup artist. A common baba. That job is for men, not for you. Don't you even get it? Enough, please. I'm tired of going in circles. I'm a baba and I love what I do. And if you guys just can't take it or deal with it, just deal with it. I have please. a dream. Say, one day I will make them. <laughs> One step at a time is all it takes. All it takes. Though it may seem like nobody believes oh, us, but it don't really matter. I don't really care. I'm not ashamed. Cause everybody feel make up. Wrong lady. Sir? Why are you wasting my time? You don't have a rechargeable clipper? 
No, 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 sir. I don't have it. But um, this gen will soon come on. I just need to to do. I don't know. It, it, to come on now, sir. Please. So oh, I'm, I'm very sorry. Please. For please. how long? I've been here for thirty minutes already. I'm sorry, sir. Please. Thank you for your patience. I'm sorry. Let me just try. I'll keep trying, sir. Please don't be annoyed, okay? Hey, what sort of problem is this now? I don't want to lose this customer. <laughs> Sam, please, eh, can you just give me five minutes? Let me run to the um, junction and get the jerry repair, okay? Do not take time and call me. Hey! Eh? Sir? Am I supposed to wait here while you continue with your struggles? You must be a 21st century joker. I'm very sorry, Sam, please. Please, just give me five minutes. I'll give you this card, please. The reason I waited was because I heard that you are very good. But I don't have this long of time. Please, I'm sorry. You've waited this long. Just five minutes. It's not. I'll, I'll run there. Oh, you man. Sir. If you don't have a generator to operate, here, close down this place I, and stop wasting people's time. Sir, are you going like this, please, sir? Sir, and I, stop wasting people's time. I'm not. I'm not done, sir. Are you leaving like oh, this, sir? Please, I'm. I'm, I'm sorry. This gen don't stress me very well, 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 eh? Look at something where you fixed few few days ago. You know that I've, I've lost so many customers today. Wait till now. I don't tell you the solution. I'm over. You sure that this all year you put? Now the only way I use. This all year. Uh huh. Okay. Now you say you go change this gen, buy a new one. Oh, but, but I don't tell you, you say that I don't get money. I don't have the I, I, I don't have the money yet. Please just help me and repair it now, so that I can get money and now buy a new one. Please. Okay, no problem. I'll try my best. But you go pay me for this work I won't do. Ah uh ah. -uh. Pay you? Yes. I pay you three days ago. Eh? Ha. I no go fee pay you. Uh. I don't get money. Pay you for waiting now. You pay me few days ago. Uh huh. Few days now, three days ago. Uh huh. Now. Now three days ago, a uh, few days. <laughs> See, if you don't say you no know, give money, my my come on my house. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. With all those two women, my put for house. If that's a delicious, I did do my like this. They collect money for my. You know, come pay me. I go pay ah. you. I go pay you. Ah ah. I know you did talk better. You won't carry your family problem put on my head. Give us on my own. Now you only they face like this. I want help you fix her. God help me fix my own. No, wala, they do. Why are you wearing that long face? Is it because of what happened yesterday night? I've just been so bothered. About? My shop. I didn't make anything today. Not even a penny. My generator is bad and I lost a lot of customers today. <laughs> Babes, I don't know what to say. Oh. But don't you think it's about time you have a rethink? <sighs> Sorry. Um I feel that. <sighs> I I need a loan from you. Please, I, I need to get a new generator. <sighs> babes, babes. See, I just paid the rent. I'm not rich right now. <sighs> but how much are we talking about anyways? 150,000 Naira. Huh? You said? 150,000 Naira. What is wrong with you? What, what are you even saying? A hundred... A hundred and fifty thousand naira. What is that? Are you are you mad or something? Where is that coming from? I don't even earn up to a hundred thousand naira and just eighty thousand naira. You're asking me for one hundred and fifty thousand naira. Listen, this whole thing is not even working anymore. 
You know we got this house out of sheer luck with the furniture and everything inside and for two years now I've been paying the house rent with the hope that you're going to come up with money from the babbing job and whatever you call that. It is not even working for me anymore. Are you asking me for 150k? Where am I supposed to get that from? Please, babe, I beg, don't even go there. Don't go there. Listen, I have the money, but I'm not even going to give you. I don't have that money to give to you. It's not possible. How about? Fiona, please. Oh, please. Please, I, I beg you. You're my only hope. Please, thank you so much for all your help and everything you've been doing for me. Please, but you can't just give up now. Babes, babes, I am serious. I don't have that money to give you for that long. It's not possible. It's not going to work. I don't have it. How about? I'll pay you in three months. Oh, story. Gifts. You, 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 you're such a headache. You're too worried. I don't. What am I supposed to do? Eh? Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm going to get my salary this week. I'll see how I can raise 50k from there to give to you. But meanwhile, I'll be asking Marcos or some other person because I don't know how you want to do that. Yeah? Every time, Baba Shop, Baba Shop, nothing is coming out of it. Wow. Thank don't you. don't even give me that. I don't, I don't want that. You are happy now. Yes, ma'am. Which one? Don't call me that. I'm coming. I'm coming. Where is it? Hey, babe. You've not been taking my calls. I was calling to say I'm sorry. For what exactly? For constantly mocking me or for refusing outrightly to buy me a generator. Which are you sorry for? I'm sorry for everything. But babe, I can't afford a gen right now. I just paid Mama's hospital bills. Yes. Chingwe has constantly been on my neck for her school fees. I don't even want to talk about Alex. Why I could soon close their portal. Look, babe, I'm sorry, but I'm literally broke right now. Babe, I understand you. I can't forget that we both are the breadwinners of our families. You see? That's why I chose entrepreneurship, because it, it gives me room to do whatever I want to do. So far you have the skill, you have the craft, all this 9 to 5 to 7 or 5 to 9, I don't understand. Okay, the, the jobs, it, it gives you room for growth, it's really. Okay. It's okay. Let me make it up to you. What do you want right now? I need a loan. How much? A hundred thousand naira. Oh, babe, if I had a hundred thousand naira, don't you think I would give it to you instead of loaning it? I don't have that. Babe, please, I beg you. I really need this generator. I've been losing customers at the shop recently and it's not good for business. Fiona has promised to loan me 50k. Now I need hundred thousand naira. Please, I really need this generator, okay? Please. Okay. How about we get a fairly used one? Um, really? Yes. I know a place we can get a very good one, a fairly used one for, say, 80,000 naira. Okay. Wow. Yes, yeah, good. So that way, 
I get to give you just 30,000 now, right? Mm -hmm. And I like, save cost. Exactly. <laughs> All right, come on. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. You're the best. <laughs> oh. Hello, Chingwe. <laughs> so, same thing. Yeah. Hello, what's up, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How far? I did. I very good. Ah, uh, really? Okay, okay, no problem. Yeah. All right, no other. Okay. Uh, I'm afraid I'll not be able to take a cut. I have to go now. Yeah, I have um, something I need to catch up with. Oh, so yeah. when will you come back? Not sure. Uh, what if you do me a home service? Um, home home service. Mm -hmm. mm, sir, why don't you come to the shop? Uh, I just said I'm traveling soon. I don't have the time, so. I mean, I'm a regular customer. Is there anything bad in No, 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 no. <laughs> There's nothing bad in your service. But, um, okay, you know, I'm the only one here. Okay. And I don't have extra hands. So, please just come here. Because other customers will want me. Uh, the problem is that I'm only free at night. So. Fine. Call me at night. Uh, I'll, I'll come out. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, why, why don't I take your number? You take my number. Okay, I'm right. um, fine. Let me get my phone. All right. Ah, uh, okay. Hi, Ray. <laughs> All right, just um, give me Okay, I'm flashing you now. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. So, that's fine. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Hey, welcome. You're welcome. How are you? So you now give your number to guys? Guys? Which guys? That's just a customer. Don't tell me you're jealous. But I saw the way he was looking at you like he was going to eat you. Hey, looking at... Anyway, whatever he did was just a stare. He cannot do anything. Am I not in my shop? Stop this. It's just business only. Remember. You're sure? Mm-hmm. <laughs> got you something. Oh, you did? What? My best. Watermelon, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. They say one man meat is another man poison. Just believe he goes soon be a blessing. Even though it makes me cry, I'll never give up the fight. There is dignity in labor, you know. Success, no, they look fast, you know. Even though it may be hard, I'll stand up and try. First of all, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, is that your brother? How about my guy? Where are you guys going to? Let me give you guys a ride. Um, my first man, thank you so much, but I have to decline. Um, that's not my brother, it's my boyfriend. Well, it's just right. I could still give you guys a ride. It's, we just want to stroll. Thank you. Thank you so much. You say so. What does he want? Um, he was offering a lift, but I told what him... What kind of man offers a lady a lift when she's walking with another man? 
Was he trying to mock me or something? Yeah. Calm down, okay? It's nothing. He was just offering a leave, but I, I didn't agree. Look, it's not about whether you agreed or not. Next time, I'm not going to let you keep me standing here because of another man. Please, you know too well that if this were a customer, I, I, won't, I won't even stop. I'll just ignore him. Of course, him. it's always customer. You're always over familiarizing yourself with this smell all in the name of customers. I can't deal with it. Good job. Babe. You just killed my good mood. Honey, it's not like that now. It's, it's just a... Yeah, you can't even have a moment without all this. No, we can still have... We have a moment. What changed the moment? He said he wanted to, to pick us and I said no. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, you expect him to be happy, Abby? With the kind of player you have with your numerous customers, you expect him to be happy. That's not even the problem. Like, when was the last time you went to the salon to get a proper hair done? By your own self, when was the last time? Tell me. Listen, listen, Fiona. I never told you he's complaining about how I look. I never said that. <laughs> that is because he doesn't want you to feel offended. He doesn't know how to say it. That's also the truth. <sighs> Well, that's not my priority, <laughs> honestly. Look at me that is still looking for how to go to a good location, open a good barber shop and make a whole lot of money. <laughs> my dear, my mind is not in all these wigs and makeup and all these things I think. Allah, you cut your coat according to your clothes. Oh, you think to get a shop in Jerry is an easy thing? Because of that small generator that you bought, Abby. You deceiving yourself. <sighs> shop. <laughs> That's really bothering me. Oh. Hi. How will I get the money now? But hey, Fifi, just imagine if I open a shop in this very good location. Hi! I'll make good money. Oh. Imagine me, 3 three k per customer. It's not all these 300 now I'm, I'm collecting from them and they're even complaining. I'll be a big girl. Ha! God, when? Oh. Well done. You know how to dream for Africa. Continue dreaming. Anyway, I just wanted to know that or remind you that you're owing me. So you put it in your plans and get ready to pay me. <laughs> you understand? Oh <laughs> my girl. <laughs> What's That's all this happy. now? <laughs> We're having a good conversation here and you're bringing up this. I know I'm owing you. I'll pay. <laughs> I'm busy like Corey, I'll just be trying telling you, you know, so that you can put me for your plans, to pay back, <laughs> my girl. <laughs> Try and support my dreams, honestly. This is not nice. Hello, you'll spin the dreamer, dreaming for Africa. Continue. <laughs> I just let you in, honestly. No, you're my girl anytime. Both real life and the card. <laughs> just, I let you in. Share this one. Uh, we'll see. Uh -huh, babe, that reminds me. E.K. is inviting us on a dinner date with his fiance next weekend. Weekend? Yes. Uh, babe, that's when I'm busy the most. Babe, you have to make our time. I can't possibly turn down the invites now. They're my colleagues. When exactly? Saturday. Saturday? And you did not turn him down? Why? Because on Saturdays I'm always very busy. Lots of customers will be coming to the shop. And I need to be there. Huh? Not Saturday, not Saturday. Oh baby, you know I'm always busy on Fridays. I'm very tired by the time I get home. I can't possibly pick that Friday for the date. Saturday was the only logical time. Okay? And remind me to give you some money to make your hair and fix your nails. Okay? Hair? Nails? Why? Because I just... want my baby looking good. But it's just a dinner date, not some wedding party. Even at that, I want my baby looking good. I want my baby looking pink at all times. <clears throat> Please. I mean, it's not like you're making a fortune from your salon anyways. What did you say? Eh? What did you say? I said, last card, check up on oh, my baby everywhere. My baby everywhere. My baby all around, all around. <laughs> okay, now. Sorry. 
Sorry, apologies, my brother. Sorry for almost running into you there. No problem. Um, I'm actually new around here, okay. and um, I've been looking for a barber shop where I could shave. Okay. Uh, do you know of any close by? Yeah, there's one not far from here. About ten poles from here. Ten poles. Yes, it's okay. called Royal Bliss. Oh, Royal Bliss. About ten poles from here. Okay, thank you so much. Are you by chance going that way? No, no. Thank, thank you. you. So yeah, thank you, sir. I'm the one, sir. I'm in charge. Really? Don't worry. You. You're going to like your course. Trust me. Well, it's not like I have a choice. But it won't be funny should you mess me. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get this place locked up. I'm going to charge you twice the price if I do you good. <laughs> mm, some confidence there. Okay, uh, it's a uh, risk worth taking. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Sorry. It was not too hot. That's fine. It's cool. Sorry. I am so, so impressed. <laughs> really, so impressed. Well, I take back my words of <laughs> wanting to lock this place up. <laughs> wow. Thank you, sir. It's fine. Sorry. You got magical hands. It's just so good. <laughs> I'm happy you like it. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. So clean. So, yeah. <laughs> So tell me, um, how much is my bill? Um, shaving is 300 naira, sir. This is quite impressive. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm glad you like it. I love it. <laughs> so here. Sir, it's 2,000 naira. Yes, I know. Oh, what? <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> it's all right, it's wow. fine. You know, I appreciate her good works when I see one. And I also like to appreciate and encourage hardworking ladies. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank no, it's you. all right, it's fine. <laughs> uh, by the way, my name is Kenneth. And Gift. It's a pleasure. Well, I'm actually new around. I came here for a sort of construction project. Oh. I'm a construction engineer. Oh, nice so to meet you, sir. I will be patronizing you oh, from time to time. Really, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank it's you so right. much. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for yourself, okay? Okay, sir. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. And you too.
never listen to my advice. Eh, 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 Interesting. Eh, eh, eh. I have a date with Marcus, so don't want to fail on top of the world. Oh, really? Yes. <sighs> Babes, let me come now, please. You know how bored I've been in this house. Oh, I'm so sorry. But it's a couple's date night, and Marcus's friend invited us. Sorry. A book of Queen Enterprise. It's a good love. Ah, please, oh, I cannot wait, my sister. Because you have been so single, like forever. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Just go and change and be going to where you're going to. Ah, ah, yes, so oh, I need to hurry because okay. before my first comes. Yeah. <laughs> my girl, my girl. That's so. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Annabelle. I've heard a lot about you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. <laughs> Gift. It's been a while. How have you been? Been good. Work has been demanding. <laughs> uh, sorry, babe. Um, Annabelle, how did you feel when he popped the question? Ah, oh my god. I was so excited. I mean, I was so happy. And guess what? He popped up the question at our place of work with all the girls who have been eyeing him present. <laughs> I was so happy. It felt so good. Wow. That's nice. Congratulations again. You can say that again. And guess what? I actually knew he was going to propose. So I looked my best. Because, girl, I never want to be caught on fresh. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> nice. <laughs> That's cool. How long have you two been dating? <coughs> um, um, three years and one <coughs> month. It's enough time for you guys to get married. Nah, come on. We're taking our time. Right. Your time indeed. <coughs> <coughs> well, give tell me. Where do you work? <coughs> well, I'm a barber and I own a barber shop. I mean, sorry, don't get me wrong, but you look too gorgeous to be a baba. I mean, right? Yeah, yes. Mm, uh -huh. just, well, barbing is just like any other skill, right? Marcus, please, how do you cope with the men? I mean, I'm very sure Git here would be flexing with the men, I mean, to get them coming. I don't flirt with anyone. Um, <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I don't mean to sound offensive, but you know we women, even, <coughs> the, even accountants, <coughs> they sleep with their clients to keep them coming. So. It takes a woman who sleeps with her client for petrol to know another. And baby, come calm down. It hasn't gotten to that. Seriously? <laughs> You wouldn't sit here and watch her insult me. Excuse me. Please! I'm really sorry about this. <laughs> hey, babe, come on. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? How do you mean what's wrong with me? Didn't you see her get on my nerves? But you could have just ignored her. You overreacted. I overreacted? She was insulting me. Yes. But then you could have just simply ignored her. Look, you ruined a peaceful dinner. What? Oh, wow, so now you think I ruined a peaceful dinner? I just took a walk out of there because I couldn't sit back there and watch a fellow woman insult me. And you think I'm at fault? How? But she was just saying what every other person would be thinking. Look, they all think they know Baba sleep with their customers. Don't get me wrong, okay? I know you don't sleep with your customers. But then, look, you could have just avoided this by not being a barber in the first place. I expected you to, to defend me in the... Are you questioning my love for you? What's the 
problem. Don't tell me you and Marcus had a fight during the date. I've had enough of Marcus, honestly. You think that I closed my barber shop because of him? This is what I get in return? Really? Huh? Oh, God. Okay, calm down. What happened? Lousy Annabelle. Talking down what I do for a living. Can you imagine? And I tried defending myself. Um, Marcus brought me out to the side and said, eh, you, you, you overreacted. How? Keith. Keith. You keep having issues with people because of this thing. Can't you see it's time for you to choose another path? Oh, please, please, please. Don't even annoy me the more. I am so pissed. And you, you all are unbelievable. What's wrong with you all? What's all this? Okay. That's fine. I think I should find a whole new group of people who can support me and 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 who can see Batman as a good thing. Everywhere I go, they are always talking about Batman is bad. Batman is this one. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I wasn't expecting you so soon. Your eyes. Were you crying? Crying? Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, um, I think something entered my eye. Maybe hair? Oh. Sorry. Ah, oh, thanks. So be one of the pitfalls of your job. <laughs> um, you're here so soon. You want a haircut? Oh, no, no. I'm so cool with this. I have to go with this. Mm. I was bored in the hotel and I decided to go on a walk. And the walk led me here. And here am I. Hotel? Yes. I... Uh, I told you walk brought me here and... Uh, I'm lodged. Oh. Mm. Okay. <laughs> nice. Mm. Uh, a gift. Can we be friends? I have a boyfriend. <laughs> of course. I mean, uh, it would be out of place for a pretty girl like you to be single. Uh, all I want is just friendship, nothing more. Yes. Uh, I, I'm near around. Like I did tell you, I don't know anyone or anywhere. Okay. Is that a uh, some sort of yes? <laughs> sort of. Yes, sort of. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so, uh, uh, tell me about yourself. Okay. Where do I start? From the very beginning. <laughs> I'm actually proud of you. You know, you're, you're a very wise one. You've actually discovered your own self that to have chosen Babin. You know, it's actually rare to find women do that. That's a good one. It's enviable. Mm. I wish she thinks so too. Who? Um, my boyfriend, he doesn't like the idea of babbling, not at all. Mm. Wow. <sighs> That's strange. Yeah. That's strange. Hi. Uh. Now where do you? Hey. What are you doing? Please, I want to bab. Okay. Um. How much? 700 naira. You see? 700 naira. Ah, uh, which one is 700 now? But the person who directs me come here saying uh, 300, sometimes 250. Mm. So you know no safe food at all costs? No. Uh, you know you say safe food scarcity day. 
I got forget that thing. Full, full, of course. Now me make and cause. Now, now, wow. I better come back, me, John. Why everybody are hot like this? I better give this to you know they work. Increase the fan. Everybody are doing hot. Oh, okay, I will increase it, eh? Ah, you know they say they stop saying it's a bit bad, eh? You see this 700 I want to pay, like, they pay me, I know for, I know for... Oh, I'm glad the fans will reach you. I bet it won't be reaching me. Yeah. Ah. You better come to me. My 700 I don't know. Thank you so much for keeping me company. Well, I should be the one thanking you for saving me from boredom. <laughs> now, I've just been in the hotel sleeping all day. Yeah. So for that, I say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the lift. <sighs> Enough. Enough of the thanks. I mean, the bag is full already. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you stay here alone? No, I have a roommate. Oh, that's good for you. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to go back to my hotel all by myself. <laughs> Dry safe. All right. <sighs> all right. All right, dear. Bye. Take Thank care. You. Take care. All right, bye. Da -da 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 -da. I know you've been watching. Welcome, I greet. Thank you, I greet too. <laughs> okay, so, who was that cute bubble that dropped you off? Huh, wait, don't tell me you started seeing someone else just because of the small coil that you and Marcus had. Oh, no, 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 Fiona, no, no, of course not. Well, I'm better than that now, you should know. He's just a friend. Just a friend. The end. He is just a friend. Well, a friend that I do not know. That friend must be a new friend. Babes, how far now? Who could me up now? I like him, he's a cute guy. <laughs> Got our <laughs> you know you're so unbelievable. Please stop. I'm serious, babes. See, listen. I want to date now. I really need a man in my life. I want to have a boyfriend. How about now? You check him. And you've seen a boyfriend in him, someone you don't even know. Well, it's cute. It doesn't matter. I wonder that you take no person. Just connect us together. Sharp, sharp. I'll shoot my shot. We'll go to one together. Okay. Yes, now. Um. I will when the opportunity presents itself. Don't want me the opportunity. I want day now, babes. Do this thing. You know, Peter, are you serious? What? Have I ever joked like this before? Do you know me now? <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh my hey god. god. No, no, I'm not even laughing. It's really surprising. But I'm not laughing too. I'm serious. For real. Very serious. Connect us. Wait, 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 are you serious? Yeah, right? Are you serious? Are you serious? Babes, where are you going to? You usually don't work on Saturdays. Well, I'm going to the salon with you. Since when? Well, ever since that drop, that gorgeous guy dropped you over. Mm -hmm. You don't say. You're joking, right? Did you? <laughs> Tell me you're joking. You're joking. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, wait. You want to come to my barber shop because of Kenneth? 
something you've never ever done. <laughs> hey, wow. Babes, there is always a first time. And, oh, is that his name? Kenneth. <laughs> I like that one. Kenneth Fiona. Kenneth Fiona. <laughs> nice. Okay. What makes you think he's going to show up today? He's not my apprentice or something, remember? <laughs> I'm just trying my luck. I mean, there's no harm in trying, so. Okay, um, so what if he shows up and you see him? What next? Babe, you introduce us now. You talk to him about me, what's up? I'll shoot my shot and then we'll move from there. What's up with this one? I'll be calm down now. Why do you do like that if you wish? behave like this. I've had that shot for close to a year now and you have never stepped your foot there. So now you want to come there because of the man Fiona. What is your problem? Why are you being so dramatic? Do this thing for me. I beg. Let's go. You're just here sitting down. Me, I'm out though. Meet me outside. Are you still sitting down here? Let's go. Our customers are waiting in our shop. Oh. I'm waiting for you outside. Did she just say our shop? Hey, Wahala. Babes, is he not going to come again? It's four already. I don't know. I never told you that you'd be coming here. Besides, he's not jobless. Invite him over. That she's calling me. Fiona. You want it to look like I'm, I'm giving him green lights? No, I won't do that to Auntie. Ah, ah. Take it easy now. What is wrong? You're taking this thing too far. What is it? You want me to invite a man to this shop for you? No, I will not do that. Sorry. Ah, ah. Are you still avoiding his calls? Don't tell me whatever annoyance you're trying to show you've not stopped all those rubbish you're doing. Are you trying to break up with him? I'm still upset with him. Yeah. Oh. Well done. Ah, my customer. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> How's your day now? Fine. My spec. Too much. My spec. Too much. Don't mind yourself. I'm not what you came to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my customer, I like the taxi though. <laughs> this one, I respect. Too much. I can arrange that for you. I just want to get here, arrange them, leave later, and okay. I'm done. See, when you get to that your shop, and you see that Kenneth in that shop, I swear, if you're not telling him about me, I will never forgive you. Trust <laughs> me, I will not. Yes, ma'am. Because I was in that your shop throughout yesterday, and he didn't even bother to come. Haba. <laughs> okay, he didn't show up, but other guys were eyeing you. Fine, fine boys. Me, along with nature, it is never my portion. <laughs> uh -uh, me. Okay, um, Fiona, what if this guy is single and he doesn't reciprocate your feelings? What do you do? Hey, babe, why do you like to say negative things? Why don't you ever say positive things for me? Why do you do like that? Sorry, I beg, I beg, I beg. sorry. Uh, come, I'll talk to you. Have a nice day. You should not kill me. <laughs> Hey. What are you doing here? Mm. 
You're supposed to be at work. Why are you here? I'm on leave. Good for you. Hey, babe, come on. How long are we going to continue to be like this? We need to talk. About what? Okay, fine, you're here to apologize for the other time. What next? After saying sorry and I forgive you, you go back to shaming what I do. Why? Okay. I'm sorry. I should have defended you the other time. And you didn't. As expected. Marcus, I am sick and tired of going back and forth. Seriously. Why can't you just accept what I do? Why? Probably we're not meant for each other. No, 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 babe, come on. How can you say such a thing? I love you so much. Then love what I do. Baby, please uh, accept the babbing thing. Just support. From now on, no more complaining. Good. Really? Yes. Champagne, I'm gonna spend up my money. Tell the PD. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> How long have you been standing there for? So long enough to know that you cannot dance. <laughs> How? You are so mean. Yeah, I know. Coming from me sounds more like a compliment. Sounds wrong. Good. Well, I actually came for lunch and um, decided to grab this for you. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I can't accept it. Thank you so much for your kind gesture, Max. It will seem like I'm using you. Then why would you say that? I mean, you didn't even ask for this in the first place. I mean, it's coming from my own free will. Yeah, but uh, remember I told you I have a boyfriend and accepting gifts leading you on. You were talking about your boyfriend a thousand and one times. I get it. Now listen, it's not like I intend to compete with him or take his place. I just want to be friends, that's all. Now listen. I know how hard working you are. I just want to encourage you, that's all. Nothing more. Hmm? It's a big deal. Come on. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah. Ah, please just give me a little time to clean up and it's then how the world has to have been so famished. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Does that mean you're right? <laughs> We've been acting like uh one half girls a few minutes ago. <laughs> ago. So tell me, um, don't you miss your friends, family, girlfriend and everyone else? Well, I miss everyone. Um, but like the saying goes, money must be made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, talking girlfriend, I don't have a girlfriend. But I remember telling you how my last relationship ended. Oh yes, that's true. Let's keep it in mind. Um, but it's rare to see a good-looking guy as you are, caring at that single. <laughs> I'm blushing. <laughs> <laughs> I think that as a compliment. Thank you so much. Well, I I, I know right. That's quite unfortunate. Mm. But you see, it's um quite challenging finding a girl who really loves you.
for who you are and not for what you have. Mm. So I've had my own fair share of all of this. Oh, so sad. But don't worry. Soon, just very soon, you will find a girl deserving of you. <laughs> the right girl. <laughs> I hope so. I do. Mm. Oops. Duty calls. Oh. I'll have to be on my way now. Thank you for the mail. Walk up. I'm um, glad you enjoyed it. Yes. Ken? Yes? Uh, can I invite you over to my place? Why not? Um, what's your occasion and when? Uh, what did you guys talk about? Did you say anything? Did you say a word to you? Calm down! Speak, talk now! I told you to speak English. Talk quick, quick. My body did do me so much. He's coming tomorrow. 7 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, yo. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. What's my business? My what you call. Yes, who's it? Okay. Babe. Yeah. How are you? Fine. How's your day going? Very well. So, how was it? Fine, thank you. Okay. I'm so sorry every time. Every time you're watching match. You like watching match. I tell you, let me come and cook my boyfriend before he dies of hunger. That's why you're the best. Mm. Babe, you're full. Please, um, can we talk later? Um, a little bit occupied now. Oh, okay, that's fine. All right. I'll talk to you later then. Bye. What? What's the face for? A friend mm -hmm. from the salon. A friend? Yes. Kenneth is a gentleman, is nothing. Hmm. Gentleman. Are you jealous? It's just a friend. And I thought you were watching this. <laughs> Why are you looking at me now? Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop funny. What do we have in front of us? Your almighty soccer. Now watch it. You didn't want to talk to me, right? So now you're looking at me. Babe, what? Be careful. Be care oh, for, uh, what? careful. Be careful. Careful. Serious. Now smile for me. Smile. Okay. You have no faces. Don't ask. It never matter. No, just love it. Leave it like that. Okay. What is this? Why are you people? Oh, wait, 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 please. Oh, you are the owner of this shop. Yes. Yes. Oh, ah. Why don't you lock my shop? Look at you. We lock the shop because you have not paid your lady. Levy? Yes. No one has Not a government levy. No government levy. Yes. Please, oh God, wait, wait, wait. I've been paying for every bill here. Everything that comes out, Hello. I pay. Go and ask your neighbors, oh, that they have shop here. They have, you know everything about it. So, you have not paid your own. No. You are owing for two years. No, two years? No one has ever told me anything about them. Yeah. Yeah. No one has ever told me. Wait, 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 ah. cross. That wait, is, give me my key. key. Yeah. Don't, don't lock my shop. I didn't know I have anything about levy Madam, now. Madam, this two, two years. 600 naira per month. 600? Yes, that's 14,400 naira. Oh my god, I've stayed here for barely one year and four months. I haven't stayed here up to two years. Ah, uh, that's your problem. Please, that's what you'll pay. If you're not paying, we'll lock the shop. No, we're no, going. no, no, no. Okay, please, please, ah. please, I just opened this place for me now. You cannot no, 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 Okay, 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 okay. 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 Okay.
okay. Okay. It's okay. So please, what's going on? Okay, we are local government levy officials. Okay. So what's we the problem? Here. She's owing for two years. Every month is 600 naira. So now it's 14,000. 400 naira. How much is everything? 14,000. I don't have the money. It's okay. Okay. 14,400. Say no, but you can Sorry, please. 14,400. I've seen the record. I've seen the record. It's 14,000. All right. It's okay. It's okay. 14,400. Yes. It's okay. So that means you paid for. Extra one more. Just come open the shop. Okay. Open the shop. Let's go. It will be. I don't take the record. It will take. Yes. Okay. Thank you. 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 No. Uh, he said he'll be running late um, at the site, so he's coming, don't worry. Oh. Mm -hmm. So how do I look? Good. Not Are bad. Sure? Mm -hmm. And I hope you like the food I made. Because I had to go all the way to the market after office open. I swear down to get some stuff to make food for him. I hope he likes it. Why are you all the stress? <laughs> you had to go through this stress for someone who doesn't even know you. Uh -huh. You shouldn't have cooked now. Uh -huh. So what are we going to be talking about? Kilomaze, you know? <laughs> like, when it comes to the house, we're looking at each other's face, you know, talking. Uh -huh. Kilomaze. So you want him to come to the house and we'll be looking at each other in the eyes, Abby? <laughs> How am I going to work with? Listen, he's coming here for the first time and we have to give him a good treat. Besides, you said he helped you pay your debt the other day, right? Yeah, so, I was there. Yeah, that's true. I, I know, that's true. You're, you're right. Yeah. He actually deserves more than this. That's not right. But can't. he believes he's coming here because of me. Now, you think that I'm... Um, that you're I, trying to show gratitude. Hey, you now. That's what you're doing. Do you not clearly state to him that you have a boyfriend? Didn't you say that to him? Yeah, so what's all this? All right then. Let's enjoy it for last. Good. I'm starving. What did you cook? Hey, don't even go there. Don't try it. Is it me that will be cooking for you? I made that food for him and nobody eats until he comes here. You didn't hear back? So I can't even eat this food and I'm starving. Eh? This is serious, so. Okay. Fifi. Let me go try it. Don't, don't stop. Just wait. It's, you can soon be here. Fifi. Eh, please, please. Don't call my name. Just hold on a bit. He'll soon be here. What's this? Hey. Uh, how long do we have to wait now? I, I had a long day. Fifi. Fifi, please, just. A bite. <laughs> you hear? Babes. Babes, don't touch that food. Calm down. Oh. I didn't make that food for you. Calm I'm down. I'm very hungry now. Oh. Okay, okay. Um, you know what we're going to do, eh? Fiona. Fiona, listen I'm to me. I'm listening to you now. Be saying what you want to say. Don't hey. like English. Wait. Okay, okay Fiona. Let's ask you. Let's see. Go get it. Go get it. No, no. Get the door. I'll go inside. Let's see, look like as if you know I was doing something. What's the window down? You know he's going to get it. What is wrong with you? This is the right place. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Hi. Good. How are you? Ken. Good evening. Good you. Thank you so much for coming. Good to see you too. Thank you so much. Um, okay, this is my best friend and roommate, <laughs> Fiona. Fiona, this yeah. is Ken. Oh, oh. we already met. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Same here. You're welcome. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're welcome once again. Um, okay. 
Why don't you go to the dining room? Yes, go to the Yes. Yes. Fiona is a really happy soul. <laughs> See that. Oh my god. <laughs> This is delicious. <laughs> Tastes really good. I never knew such professional hands of yours could do magic in the kitchen too. <laughs> I did not prepare it. Fiona here did. Oh really? Oh yeah. It's good. A good cook, Fiona. Thank you. So tell me, are you into catering? Well, no. Okay, so I actually work as a front desk personnel for a company, a veto company responsible for recruitment. Oh, that sounds interesting. Thank you. <laughs> well, you know, starting off um, a kitchen outfit will be a bad idea, you know, since you already have the skill. Oh, well, coming from you, I'm going to put that into consideration. Mm. <laughs> Please do. I know a lot of people make huge money out of kitchen these days. Oh, I know. Um, I'm sorry, I have to take this call. It's across the line. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, so, um, what do you do? Oh, um, I'm a construction engineer. Oh, <clears throat> that's super cool. Your job was really interesting. You can say that again. <laughs> can I? Um, I'm really sorry. I have to leave you now. Um, I have an emergency at the barber shop. A customer wants a haircut urgently, and I've given him my words that I'll be there just now. So. Uh, well, well, uh, that shouldn't be a problem. I could drop you off. Oh no 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 no! Please, you, you don't have to. Okay, I'll be fine. Just. Eat your food, Fiona will keep you company until I'm back. I'll be back shortly, I promise. Are you sure you're going to go Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Fiona, please keep you in company. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Just, please just take care of yourself, okay? See you later. Okay. Thanks. All right, take care of you. Bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, she just left her food. Okay, so Gibbs says that you're new in town. Uh, yes, yes, I am. Okay, any mm -hmm. plans for today? Said you do. So why are you behaving as if you don't understand what I'm trying to do? Huh? Relax. Just name your price. I'll pay the amount. Price? I don't. What are you talking about? Do I look like a joke? Come on, see. Nobody is talking about joke here now. Eh? Those way they do this kind of work, you know what they find. Eh? What? We know now. Eh? What? Shaving to be shaved. Get your filthy hands off me! Are you okay? Are you mad? Crazy! Now please, leave. Get out of my shop. I never want to see you here again. And never you call my number. If not, I'll get you arrested. Because I'll report you to the police for sexual harassment. I'm begging for getting sexual harassment. Are you not the one trying to harass me here? You are not even my type now. You know babes why they strap. I beg you, go sit down one place. You join. I'll go down. Go say, go 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 you think I don't know your plan? Leave my shop! Get out! See, your door is not even good. She said, sure, this is a kiosk now. Please! Come on! Perfect! Oh, oh, you even lock it off halfway. So that nobody will rescue me when they do me. God will punish you. Waka! 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 Waka!
just happened? Um, Sheila, I think I have to be on my way now. Oh, why? You don't have to leave so. I mean, I'm sure she's going to be here very soon, so. And I also thought I was keeping you company, you know. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the truth is I enjoyed your company. Um, I wasn't expecting to stay this long. Okay? Okay, let me just put in something. Oh, Get a shoe. Okay. okay. I would have loved to stay longer and know that I had something to do. Mm. Know that I have something to do. <laughs> and if I say it's okay, believe me, it's fine. I mean, give us to work and. It's all right. So tell me, how did it go with your client? Annoying. Can you imagine that idiot wanted to cause a nuisance in my shop? God, I just wasted my transport fare going there. Uh, you now see the reason why I insisted on going with you. I mean, just one blow would have put him in the senses. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Sorry, just. Sure. Uh... How far? How did it go? Well, awkward. We're just staring at each other. Nothing to say. We're just looking at each other. By the way, Marcus is inside. Marcus? Mm -hmm. And you're just telling me now. Yeah. What do you want to say? Ah, ah. smiling with Kenneth. Ah, oh, babe, um, he wasn't here for me. He was actually here for Fiona. Oh, he wasn't here for you. Perfect way to cover it up. I saw you. I saw you apologizing to him for leaving him behind. Ah, oh, okay. This is complicated, but sincerely, I invited him over for Fiona. Oh, you even invited him. Interesting. What's next? too jealous. Mm -hmm. Oh, you think I'm too jealous? Yes. I come into my girlfriend's house to see her, but instead I see another guy and you think I'm jealous for complaining? That guy wants you. He clearly wants you. Oh, no, 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 no. Really, Kenneth doesn't want anything like that with me. He's, he's just a friend. He, he has never asked me out, really. Babe, I'm a guy too, and I know these strategies. Look, that guy wants you. You have to stop whatever relationship or friendship you have with him. I'm serious. Right, Marcos. Very, very right. There is no man hmm? who is a friend to a woman who don't have any ulterior motive. Well, I've told her to end whatever friendship she has with that guy. Good. That's why I didn't want her to be a barber in the first place. Every guy goes into that shop and wants my girl. Oh, Marcos, I thought you told me you're comfortable with the kind of job she does. Truth is, I'm not. 
I just had to stop complaining, just so she could be happy. Well, you're the man. You're the man. If you don't like the kind of job she does, you come out plain and tell her and let her know. Stop pretending and be a man. For how long? For how long, bro, will I keep complaining about this particular issue? I love her and I don't want to lose her. I know. Because I know, and that's that's good. But the truth is, you need to give her a piece of your mind. I can make, make, you know, you make her choose. If she either if she loves you or she loves her job, she she'll choose you. But if she, most importantly, if she loves her job, she'll choose her job. Then you get to know if she loves you or not. Be the man, Marcos. Be the man. Be the man. Find something to do with this. Poor girl. Young woman. Get busy. My boyfriend thinks you want something from me. He thinks you like me. Hold on. He is your boyfriend. Oh my goodness. I never thought about it in that direction at all. Listen, I understand his fears. I'm a man myself. But um, you should understand that my intentions are pure. They are pure towards you. Well, I believe that there is this common knowledge that you women know when a man is into you, right? Yeah, to an extent. Oh, really? Marcus? Hi, baby. <laughs> How are you? Oh, come on. We both know you're not here for a haircut. So tell me, what is it exactly you want from my girlfriend? The last time you were at her place and now you're here again? Wait, um, please, calm down. You're shouting. I'm shouting? This is shouting? Are you serious? Uh, um, listen, Marcus, I understand your fears, okay? Fears? You think I'm afraid of you? Eh? Can you compete with me? Babe. Can you? Look, dude, please get out of this place. Leave! Babe, babe, you're, you're embarrassing my friends. Your friend? Yes. I told you I was not comfortable with this friendship. I told you to end it. Can you say leave now? Get out! Please. Can I leave? Can I just you see who? Ken. What's wrong with you? Know this kind of guys. All he wants is just to get in between your legs. That's not true. That's not how all men think. This is different. Kenneth has pure intentions. All he has ever done was to support me. What's all this? Uh, wait. What's this about? I can keep male friends. Really? Uh, no. Leave. What? I need to be left alone. Babe, you're asking me to leave because of this guy? This guy! I should leave! See, I know Marcos overreacted. But you shouldn't have sent him away. That would make him feel bad. I didn't send him away. I just told him that I was not in the mood to talk anymore. You needed to see the way he spoke to Kenneth. He didn't let the poor guy speak. But, come to think of it, are you sure that Kenneth is not into you? 
Because I tried to, you know, give the guys some green light the other time. Fiona. That it didn't work between you and Kenneth doesn't mean he has a spot for me. Who knows, maybe he was not just into you. But what are you expecting? Like a man who sees another man for leaking around his woman? He's supposed to be angry now, what were you thinking? Okay, true, he has expressed his feelings and I understand. But not going overboard. Did you? If you, if you were there, you would have seen how he spoke to Kenneth. Oh, I have to go all the way to apologize to him. <laughs> but sure you know that if Kenneth and I were a thing, this whole thing wouldn't have happened. It would make him more Marcus more relaxed. You know that, right? I can't force him to date you. It's up to two of you. I've already set the meeting ground for you two, so I don't know. No, no. Okay. Oh my god. Hi. Oh, wow. oh, I have to just go and apologize to Kenneth. What kind of problem is this? Oh god. What kind of problem is this? Just calm down. Calm down. Um, I hope you're not offended that I want us to talk by the car instead. It's fine. I understand. Kenneth, um, You've been a really good friend to me. We've just met in a short while and you've been quite supportive. I really appreciate our friendship. I want to really apologize on behalf of my boyfriend for his actions yesterday. Truly, he's not like that. I just don't know what got into him. It's okay. Thank you so much for your support. You've you're the only one that's ever supported me in my career. I really appreciate our friendship. And it makes... It's so sad that it has to end this way. We can still be friends, but from a distance. Gift, uh, I can't believe you're saying this. Uh, wait a minute. Is it that you never believed me when I said uh, that... I have no ulterior motives towards you. I, I do, but my boyfriend won't just understand it this way. Believe me, we can be friends, but from a, from a distance. Okay, it's fine. If that's what you want. I'll stay away. Well. Um... I hope you won't see me as an enemy after this. I'm so sorry, but I was tipsy. I shouldn't have behaved that way. I'm sorry about my behavior towards your friend, but I had so much to drink. Let me apologize to him. <laughs> Not at all. I understand that you're under pressure at this time. It's fine. It's okay. Thank you so much for your understanding. I truly appreciate you. It's Thank right. you. I should give you a hug for that. Will that be necessary? Please. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I'll just get my water. Oh, okay, good. Oh. Very good. Okay. I am um, keen to pay you part of the money you, I owe you. Thank you so much for your patience. Please, I'm going to pay you the remaining money. I trust that this will be a little bit complete. All this fat, fat money that you are paying me all the time. I will start collecting interest, 10% interest, because all this is where they give me like this. You know, they make sense. <laughs> Mm. Hey, God. Thank you. <laughs> my friend, my Wait. friend. <laughs> So you 
still not called Marcus. It's over a week now. I'm not going to call him. He's meant to call and apologize to me, but he hasn't done that. So I'm not calling him. Let us all stay like this. Listen, you guys should drop this ego thing that you guys are doing and then start talking already. Mm. What's all this one you're doing now? See, it's things like this that spoil relationship. Oh. Let me just tell you. I'm not going to call him. Do you guys see this guy on WhatsApp? Online! And he doesn't even try to chat me. Okay, now you should keep on waiting for me to chat him up. I will not do it. He wronged me, so he's made to call and apologize. Babe, you need to go and meet this guy and talk to this guy. Visit him. You guys should sit down and talk things over. Don't say I didn't tell you. That's so why you go take lose your man. I've told you. Uh -huh. I miss him though. Mm -mm. Don't miss him. He's standing here. You savvy. Who's that? What was the attitude? I'm the one offended. You are the one who's offended. You think I didn't see you? I saw you hugging him in front of your house the next day after I walked him out. What was that it? It was just a hug. More like a goodbye hug even. You asked me to end the friendship. I did. It doesn't change the fact that we're going to keep having these issues. Close the sound. You're going to have to close the salon. What? Yes. Yes. I mean it, babe. Close the salon. What does my shop have to do with anything anyways? No, 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 please. I can't. I won't do that. How do you expect me to close my source of income? Well, then get another source of income. Yes! Get a job. Or better still, learn hairdressing, makeup, or even how to fix nails. Those are skills for ladies. Not babbing. Babbing is my passion. That's what you tell yourself. Look, you have to choose between me and babbing. You're making me choose? Marcos. You want me to just throw away something I built from the scratch? I go out there every day struggling. I put so much in it. My tears, my struggle, pain, sweat. And you just want me to throw it away like that? Marcus, this is a lady bathing in a male-dominated environment. And all I ask of you is peace. I come back here so you could be my solace, but no. Marcus, bathing is what I love doing. 
telling me to shut it down is just like saying I should shut down my existence as a person. And making me choose over you and my babin is saying I should choose between you and myself. I choose myself always. I can't stop. Never. I won't. Well then go. Go. I said go! Get out! Quitting one's career, I mean, a career one is so passionate about, is one of the saddest things to experience. So an individual will just keep living his or her life with regret. Oh, oh Marcus, 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 I love him so much. Why would he just okay, do it's this? Okay, it's okay. Why would he? It's okay. It's alright. It's alright. Right. It's okay. You know, f for some reason I just feel guilty. I mean, if I didn't come into your life, I'm sure that of this would not be happening to you. No, 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 no. It's, it has nothing to do with you. It has, it has nothing to do with you. My first has always been like this. Maybe this was bound to happen eventually. <laughs> He has always said that I'm wasting my time in the barber shop. He believes as a female I have to struggle in that field unless I'm ready to train my body. Come on, no, that's not true. I mean, this man come to your barber shop because you're good. Because you're good at what you do. Now listen. If you're not good at what you do, this man will not come to patronize you. They would not come to your barber shop at all. So you understand? It's okay, it's okay. 
Oh, why don't you pick up your phone first? Uh, it's been ringing all day. I decided not to wake you up. Um, no, no, no. I'll just rather go home and meet her. Okay. Um, Kenneth, um, yeah, I'm listening. Thank you so much for letting me lean on your shoulders. What are friends for if not in times like this? Okay. Let me drop you. Marcus has always had a problem with my career way before I met Kenneth. <sighs> You're a damn liar. A freaking liar. That's what you are. If you love Ken, why wouldn't you just say it? Why pretend about it? Why? Freaking know what I'm saying. No, what are you, you saying? Do? Listen, Kenneth and I defined our relationship a long time ago and he's strictly I don't see any of that! I don't. I dropped by at your shop. Your door was locked. That's because... Excuse me. I called you severally. You didn't pick any of my calls. You were with him, right? Hugging, kissing, shagging. Oh well, praying, right? No, Fiona. Mm. I, I was hot and I needed a shoulder to lean on. Mm. I slept off at the hotel, but trust me, nothing happened. Mm. And I love Marcus very much. I truly, truly love him. I can't. Yes. Then how do you reconcile with him? Running into another man's arms? You know, you know it's because of you that man is not looking at me. You know that. No, I'm not. Of course you do. No, I'm not. He's not just into you. He doesn't love you. He told me this. I... Listen, he doesn't have any mutual feelings for you. What's all this? What's oh, God? I'm 
Marcus, hi, good afternoon. Marcus yesterday. I mean, he says me responsible for you guys falling apart. The look on his face. I'm pretty sure he would have shot me if he had the opportunity of doing that yesterday. I miss him though. Yeah, I know he can be a handful at times, but he's really a sweet guy. <laughs> look at you. But I mean, don't you think I am the wrong person to be telling this? I mean, why don't you go after your man? Talk to him. You never can tell. I mean, this time around, things might work out well. How many times we've been through this over and over again? There's no point. Are you now saying you'd rather let it go? I'm more focused on progressing my career. Um, Kenneth, I'm considering requesting for a loan. I really need to change my salon's location. Loan? Hmm. Uh, from, from where? The bank or money lenders? Listen, you and I know that one needs to have tangible assets before the bank can issue anyone a loan. And for the money lenders, I mean, their charges are outrageous. The lending rates are outrageous. But it will be funny if uh, one is unable to pay back at the agreed time. Uh, you know what? I'll suggest you have a rethink. Or better still, we look for an alternative. Hmm? Think about it. Yeah. Come on, share up. What's wrong with you? Uh, okay. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> so what's the new baby? What new baby? You told me you're all the Okay, yeah, it's not as easy as you think. I still feel very strongly for gifts. I'm tempted to call her most of the times, but I'm just afraid that I've already lost that to him. Just listen to yourself. Just listen to yourself, Marcos. Just for once, listen. If you guys had ended up together, probably she would have been a disobedient wife. Oh, come on. What are you saying? Guy, you know her. You know Gift. Gift has never disobeyed me. In fact, this Baron Saloon thing is the only thing we've quarreled about. I should have just accepted it. We would have managed. What about those crazy guys that comes to Ababa's shop and smacks our buttocks all in the name of patronage? Can you deal with that? Can you? Can you deal? Think. Think. Babes. It's been months now since you and Marcus stopped dating and you're still not dating him. What's the problem? You don't get it, do you? I'm not attracted to Kenneth, neither is he attracted to me. Okay, listen, I know I had a thing for Kenneth, but looking at you guys, I mean you guys are going to make a great couple. You're compatible. Mm. Mm -hmm. Madam Matchmaker, Kenneth is just a friend. 
and that's how it will remain. I told you this. Okay, fine, he's a good guy and all, but he's going to get someone when he's ready. <sighs> you know, I admire you guys' friendship a lot. It's very difficult for you to, you know, meet a guy like that. And the guy just does all these things he does without even wanting anything in return. He's just a great guy. <laughs> yes. Most guys will want to be friends with benefits. Yes, no. <laughs> I thank God. I thank God for bringing Ken into my life. Why is she smiling like that? Did I say something or... Is someone not telling me anything? Okay... I got it now. You don't say. For <laughs> real, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, when? <laughs> you got a man and I'm just knowing now? Fiona! I'm sorry. Not I'm fair! Sure. Honestly, I wanted to tell you. But talk, honestly, talk. Okay, you can now turn and see the magic. Hmm. Why do I feel like I'm going to regret letting you cut my hair, babe? Please, you're too proud, don't you? Hmm. Amen. Oh! Baby, try to. <laughs> what? <laughs> That you stopped coming to our place, so what's up now? What's going on? Well, I'm fine, right? Mm. So, how about your friend, Aisha? Really? Like, seriously, you're asking me that? <laughs> you know what I think? You both should stop this whole thing you're doing because you're actually torturing yourself. You need to stop all this nonsense you're doing and, you know, get back together. 
Haba, stop now. We are probably not just meant for each other. Mm. Yeah, and mm. I'm sure your friend is probably happy with whoever she's with. Ah, uh ah. -uh. <laughs> God. You, eh, you will not stop this for your thing. Listen, Gift is still the way she is. Single. Nobody in her life yet. Mm hmm. What about that um, Kenneth guy? Ah! <laughs> So that's your problem, really. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Kenneth is just her friend. They're just platinum friends, nothing more. And by the way, she likes you. She loves you so much. This is what you're doing. Marco, stop him now. Why do you do like that? Haba. <laughs> um, you know what? I actually came to meet with the client in there. And if oh. having this, I'm actually running late too. So we should have this conversation some other time. Marcos, you know, you know you can show yourself. <laughs> You're looking I good. I got what it takes to make it through. I believe in God and in myself, and in myself. When it seems like there's nobody else, nobody else. What tomorrow holds, no one can tell, no one can tell. Do your own, make I do my own. No, Lele, no, no Lele. I believe, I believe in God and in myself, and in myself. When it seems like there's nobody else, nobody else. What tomorrow holds, no one hey. can tell. No one can tell. Do you know me? I'm doing my own. No, 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 no Lele, no Lele. No, 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 no. When you hustle, hustle um, and pray, just yeah. believe, say one day you go. Um, my hair is um, messed up and I, since I remembered you are really good at these things, I figured I should come get a haircut. What star do you want? The one you gave me the day we got the idea for a public service. I miss you. Sorry. I'm sorry for making you choose. I realize now how selfish I was. You never realized my hard work. You were focused on only the negative parts. Forgetting that every career has its downside. Yes, babe, I, I, I realize that now. I know I failed you. I failed you, Gabe. We've, we've been through this. We've been through this before. No, look. Give me one more chance. I promise I won't let you down. Give me one more chance. I promise I won't go back on my words. The past three months has been tough without you. I can't get myself to forget you. Please just give me one more chance. And I promise I will support you with every fiber of my being. And the doubt, you, you always have doubt in you no, about no, me. No, no, babe, no. Look, honestly, I, 
I knew you were not going to cheat on me with any of your customers. I was only just afraid that somewhere along the line you'd probably just leave me for one of them. You can never. Because my heart beats just for you, Marcus. I've missed you, babe. So much. I've missed you too. But babe, I'm really going to shoot anyone that comes around you. What? Of course you don't, joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't do that. Of course not. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't um, heard from the NGO since they came to my shop last like three weeks ago to confirm. Okay. Maybe they think I do not need it. No, 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 no. Do not say that. I mean, <laughs> not after that fantastic proposal we drafted. Uh, come on, you have to be positive. And besides, I haven't heard anything contrary from my source. Oh, hmm? okay. So let's just be hopeful. Okay? Yeah, I'll keep believing. Mm. Okay. And um, I will believe in your Beautiful city anytime soon. Really? Yes. I'm done with my good head. Aww. Kenneth, I'm going to miss you. I do. I miss you too. Come. I'll miss you too. Um, actually, I, I was. It's okay. Come on. I trust you. You didn't tell me you were coming. I know. I wanted to surprise you as usual. So. I guess I have to be on my way now. Oh, no, 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 boys, you are not going anywhere. Today is a good day and we should all have a drink. Come. Uh, really? Come in. Um, so, what's your name? My name is Sarah. I'm a market. Okay, where are you from? Ishiaka. State, Nigeria. Okay, so um, can you tell me why you want to learn Babin? Well, as I'm talking to you now, you are my role model. My, I love the way you bow. Since my mother gave birth to me, I have never seen or heard that a woman is a baba. I love the way you bow, especially those ties that used to give the eye. I, I love the way customers drift and out of your shop. <laughs> but I want to be like you. Um, <laughs> okay, um, that's that's one that's really impressive. And I appreciate your compliments. Thank you. Um, I will teach you how to bag. Uh, are you in school? I finished secondary school three years ago. And since then, Nothing. There is no money to go to university. I said to myself, Sarah, what will you do? Think of something. Think, 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 think. And I said, hi, there is one auntie that I used to bab in my street door. I said, let me come. So that you teach me how to bab those your thighs. So that I can be a good barber like you. <laughs> That's good. Um, you don't have to pay me. Yes. Um, when you're done learning, you start working with me and then I'll place you on a monthly salary. Hi. Please, all I ask of you is to save from every monthly salary you get so you can be able to go to the university. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. You want me to go to university? Yes. Hi. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Um, where are your parents? <laughs> no, 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 please. Uh, stop. Um, Sarah, Stella, what's your name again? Sarah. 
Sarah? Please sit. Um, Sarah, I want to appreciate you. Actually, I want to thank you so much for standing by me when we had nothing. <laughs> Look at us now. All those years of suffering, you stood by me, you saw me as your muse, your your role model. Thank you so much. Thank you. And believe me, with your resilience, you're going to do better than I did. Thanks. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you. Ma, I also want to thank you for everything you have done for me. I also want to thank you. I appreciate it, Ma. I <laughs> promise I'm going to make you proud. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, so when will you receive me lectures? Next week. Next week. Okay, you can go. I will send you something for your upkeep. Oh, thank you so much, Ma. Thank you, Ma. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> um, come in, please. Hello, Miss Gift. Hello. This is Rachel. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you look you. amazing. Oh, thank you. Too. <laughs> I like your hair. Thank you. Thank you. So, Estwi is actually inviting you to officially give a speech for our forthcoming event. Me? Yes. <laughs> yes. We see you worthy, and with your growth so far, your rapid growth, we believe that you are more than worthy to give the speech. And please, we'll be so honored and appreciate it if you come. Oh, please. Wow, yeah, yes, please. Uh, oh really? my god, this is an honor. I'm, I'm, of course, I, I will come. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, thank you so much. So, every detail you will need is on the email I sent to you. So, okay. just read through it. Your invitation is there. Everything you need to know is there. Thank oh. you so much. No, no, please, you don't need to thank me. <laughs> <laughs> to thank you. Thank you no. so much for seeing me worthy. It's absolutely fine. Oh my god, babe. I'm just so impressed with <laughs> all this. This NGO has opened lots of doors for me. I mean, ambassador deals. <laughs> so many people want to now partner with me. Everything is just happening so fast and good. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Hey? Yes. What's going through your mind? 
I was just thinking of how much you've been able to accomplish in just a year. Babe, you're truly a determined woman. It's all God's grace. <laughs> I feel sad, you know. To think that I almost chased away the guardian angel God sent to help you. Babe, I almost ruined your vision. Please don't just stop. Okay? We've passed that already. So, how is Kenneth? It's been a while since I spoke to him. Same here. Um, I should call him. Okay. Please, I don't know what is wrong with this, your boys. Those are the problems we have now in this generation. Those are the kind of boys we see this time around. They don't want to walk anymore. I've been complaining, complaining. I mean, look at it. All this plumbing job they ought to do. For example, take a, take a look at this. This is not good enough. Huh? Generation, we are finding ourselves now. Please let me speak with them. Speak so, to them, you, please. Speak to them, please. Mm. Huh? My favorite Baba. <laughs> What's up, man? It's been a while, though. How are you now? <laughs> it's my favorite couple. <laughs> no, 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 find me now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, god. <laughs> Can you never change? Um, how have you been? I've missed you. Well, if you really missed me, you would have actually invited me for a wedding already. Olga, uh, please don't forget, eh? Well, I'm pretty sure you must have been raking in all the money in, in that area now. <laughs> um, by the way, how is Fiona? Fiona is fine. Um, you know, just normal work stress. I'll soon be home. Uh, you, you know what? I'm actually on the site now, and um, these boys are giving me a lot of issues. Uh, I'll, I'll call you back, okay? Um, okay, uh, Guy, I will send you a WhatsApp message, eh? There's something I want to discuss with you. Okay, I'll all at you when I come online. Okay, all right. Bye. Bye. Mm. <laughs> okay. Somebody's taking my friend away from me. Please, I have told you this shouldn't be here. Uh, ah, okay. Fine, sir. Uh, wonderful, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, what? I didn't see any other problems here because I've told you in two weeks' time we want to start this. Ah, okay. Well, the boys are working. We are working, sir. Um, when we go to the back now, you definitely see what I'm saying. Uh, and um, uh, I don't know if we could still get some money, sir. I know you sent some money yesterday. Yes, uh, so that we can buy the fittings. Uh, they should be available by next week, sir. Next weekend. Uh, let me take you around, sir. Yes, sir. This way, sir. So, um, for example, this...
strive in life, especially as a female, you have to be resilient. Of course, people will want to talk you out of your dreams and aspirations. They'll tell you all sorts of things. And then you get confused because you are not resilient. And what happens? They have their way. Please listen up. I want you all to follow your dreams, your aspirations, your talents, skill, whatever you want to do, please follow it. Whoever said that there's a particular skill meant for men alone? Who? Who? No one, right? Good. You want to make shoes? Go after it. Go ahead. Nurse the idea of being the sole owner and CEO of a shoe brand. You want to be a barber just like I am? Fine, photographer. Please, this is the 21st century and my darlings, you can be whatever you want to be. I don't want to paint it so sugar cook it for you all. Of course, it will take time, you will struggle. It's not a bed of roses. But your passion, dreams, consistency, aspiration should never be there. Um, I especially want to thank Eswe an organization who has the objective of helping young women actualize their dreams. I am a testimony. You too can be. I've also decided to organize a one month workshop. Free of charge. This will be free of charge to all the young ladies who will want to learn barbing. I'm doing this free of charge to you all and I'll be giving out free clippers and other items to the best women. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Questions? Anyone? Good. Miss Gift, you have one of the biggest barbing salons in town. Can you tell us how the competition has been with male counterparts? Thank you very much for that question. Um, as an entrepreneur, you have to be ready to take risks. And as a business owner, you need this at the back of your mind, that every business has a competition. It has nothing to do with whether you're a male or a female. Thank you. Any other one? Questions? Questions? In your speech earlier, you mentioned that a lot of people try to discourage you. Was there anyone that encouraged you? Oh yes, a lot of people discouraged me and I had a few others who stood by me, who spoke to me, who supported me immensely. And for every no I got from people, it was rather a stepping stone and a lead way to my success story. Uh, before I leave, please, I would just like to um, give you one more last thing. If you have a skill or a talent and maybe you're building it and maybe along the line you drop it, I want to tell you that it's not really a good idea. This is something you're so passionate about and maybe along the line be like, oh, I don't want to do this. No, please. Because you will forever regret this. All right? Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, that was a 
a very impactful speech that she gave and I hope that we can take home one or two from what she has said. They say one man meat is another man poison Just believe he goes soon be a blessing Even though it makes me cry I'll never give up the fight There is dignity in labor, you know Success, no, they look face, you know Even though it may be